Hi, Dave Phillippe here to, to go over the 10 top reasons to upgrade from 2017 to 2020. So here you're looking at the 2017 screen, and this is what the 2020 screen looks like. So you see it's got the color pattern is a little smoother, a little cooler on the eyes, the icons are a little cleaner looking, and at the bottom you notice that the little icons, or the whole box lights up so you can tell what's active and what's not. Just a whole lot easier to see. The next item is the off-screen selection. So what we mean by that is, let's, I'm back at the 2017 screen again. So what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to do a stretch command. And if you're uh, doing any kind of command and whatever you're working on, for some reason you need to zoom up or pan and you move the item off the screen and then you affect the command. So I'm going to drop this down six inches. You notice that the off-screen stuff is, does not stretch. With the new version, when I do a stretch command and I move off the screen, zoom up, six inches everything stretches. Notice also that there's a plan view of pickets when you generate a plan view of the railing. Also for gates and fences too. Item 3, back office improvements. We're talking about basically reducing the number of crashes that the program has. The regens are faster and PDFs import faster and move around on the screen faster. And then also the uh, item 4, the PDF text imported as actual text, not polylines. So you notice on the 2017 when you import PDFs, they're not actually real text. The newest Autodesk command is this draw and compare. So I'm going to click on this command right here. And I'm going to bring in another drawing of the same railing. And the draw and compare command basically superimposes one on top of the other. So what you have is you can turn that off, turn it on. What you have is a legend that the red is not in the current drawing, the green is only in the current drawing, and the gray color means they both have the same thing in common. So if you're comparing one drawing with another, drawing and compare can show you the difference between the two. And you have other commands to move items from one drawing to the other. Feature number six has to do with scaling viewports. So here's a viewport here, and I'm just going to click on it, and you notice there is a little grip here. I pull on this, and you see the scales are right here. So I set this, say, for a quarter inch, and the whole window scales as well as the railing. The railing is drawn to quarter equals a foot. I can change that scale, say, let's try three quarters. That's oop, too big to fit on this drawing, so I can go back and back it off to a half. I know that's going to work. I can move it. And it scales the viewport as well as the railing on the inside. So that is now set. And if you get what the scale is, you just click on it. It tells you it's a half inch equals a foot. So when you're making your notations down here, you just type in the scale right here and you're ready to go. I like that feature. Feature number seven is alternating short pickets. So I'm going to show you how that works. I click on the horizontal rail program here. And I'm going to import a template called inch and a quarter alternating pickets. I click that. I'm just going to click next and you'll notice here we have a place where you can type in add short alternating pickets. You can actually add finials to it for a, a gate. I'll show you that in a second. And then you've got the you put in the picket length. And you click OK and click draw. And it draws the railing like this. So you've got your alternating short pickets for, for railing designs like this. Let me show you a gate, an important one here. We got it called Puppy Picket Gate. And I click Draw and Next. So here we've got the short picket. We've checked Add Finials to the short picket. So when I draw it, I use Default. So it's going to look like this. And there it is. Isn't that cool? Ready to go. And then you just go in here with the rail wipeout and clean the looks of that. Makes a nice looking gate drawing. 
Feature number eight is that you can have now custom sketch gates with sloped bottom bars. So let's slope this bottom bar here. I'm just going to click on this, slope this up like so. Go to the gate program, import template, standard gate, use custom sketch, click draw, next, draw, use default. And there you are, sloped bottom gates. We've also added a custom sketch feature to the horizontal gate. So let me click on this gate program again. I'm going to import a template. I'm just going to use a two inch louver. Click OK. Use custom sketch for horizontals. I'll click that. Click draw. Next. Draw. Pick this one here. There's that one. Do it again. Gate. Draw, next, draw, select this one, curved or straight tops, pretty cool. Another new item is that we can now toggle off this post at the top of the stair. So say I just want to do an 18 inch break here and just go next and draw. I'll get, I'll put in a post here and it'll draw the rail without the post at the top of the stair. A lot of requests for that one. And finally, library enhancements. Architectural Iron Designs has a new catalog and one of their features is that they've included the Grand Forge designs. That's now available on the current Fabcad 2020 version. We have a lot of other features. Uh, if you went back and looked at each individual release on YouTube, 18, 19, and 20, you'll see other features that we've added. For instance, like we have a point style and a, and a quick measure command and just different things like that. They, they demonstrate all that stuff for you. Any other questions, you please give us a call, 800-255-9032. Take care. Bye-bye.